Hey, what is up nation? In this session, I'm gonna be teaching you how you can scale to a specific size in SketchUp. All right, so I have SketchUp open here and what I'm gonna do is make a box. So we have a little box here. Uh, now, what I've seen a lot is that uh, people Let's just measure this really quick. Um, people measure something and it's not the right size, so then they're like, okay, well, how do I scale? What's the math to figure out the scale to get that number uh, to be the right scale that I want? And you can set up a proportion for that, but you don't need to do that in SketchUp. So like, if you wanted to, you could figure it out uh, by setting up a proportion and I'll actually link uh, in the description below uh, an article that I wrote a long time ago on uh, the one principle I use for math all the time which is proportions um, so uh, you can check that out and learn a little bit about proportions uh, if that's something that interests you but in this video I'm going to show you how to how to not have to do math so um, let's say what did we measure here we measured 10 foot nine. So let's say we wanted to change this to five feet. We wanted that dimension there to be nine feet. So uh, if you have this box here and you uh, triple click, so a single, a single click will uh, just select the face, double click will select the face and the bounding edges of that face and a triple click will select all connected entities. So we are just gonna uh, triple click on that and then I'm gonna choose the uh, tape measure tool. I'm gonna measure that and click. Now, it sort of looks like nothing has happened, but I'm going to type in five feet. So you can see in the bottom right, I typed in five feet. Uh, when I hit enter, it says, do you want to resize the model? Now, this is an important thing to note, because if there's multiple things in the model um, that are outside of a group, it'll resize everything. I'll show you how to get around that in a second, but um, this is just something to be aware of that when you scale in SketchUp, depending on how you modeled, it might model everything in your model and you may or may not want that. So uh, this is just letting you know, this is gonna scale everything. Is that okay? And I'm gonna say yes. So now if I hit the tape measure tool and measure here, this is five feet. So very cool. Uh, I'm gonna uh, right click on this and make it a group. So now we have a group. And then just for reference, I'm going to make a uh, another one. DJ Khaled. <laughs> um, okay, so now I have three boxes. Now just for reference, I wanna make this a five foot box as well. But uh, so you can see three, the three of these are groups and that's an important thing to uh, notice. If I select this, and I'm gonna show you if, you if you wanted to scale everything. So I'm not inside the group, I'm outside this group. I'm gonna select that, I'm gonna type in five feet. It's gonna ask if I wanna resize, so I'm gonna say yes. So everything scaled. Uh, now this is no longer five feet because it got scaled down, but this is five feet. So. We have that, but if you just want to scale this item, since it's a group, I can click into it. So I just double click to get into this uh, group edit mode. Uh, hit the tape measure tool, measure this, type in five feet. It's gonna uh, say, do you want to resize the active group or component? So this is a little bit different than that message that we got before. It's letting you know that you're only going to scale that group or component. Uh, so I'm gonna say yes. It scales only that down. So uh, that's a little helpful tip if you're looking to scale. You don't have to do all the math uh, to figure out what scale you need to put in to get the exact measurement that you need. Uh, so hopefully this helped. If it did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And as always, happy hacking. All right, designers. Just because this episode of Designer Hacks is over doesn't mean we're leaving you out in the cold. Tony's got tons of great content available at designerhacks.com. So join Design Nation right now, and we'll see you on the next episode of Designer Hacks.